Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Today's video we are going to be swatching these colors and this is 2023 collection called Bizarre Beauty. Bit of a bizarre name. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, so the colors are Motley Blue, Clash Out, Off the Wall, Outrageous, Sun Dial It Up, and All the Rage. CND, can you please put the names on the front? On the front. And in like a dark letters? Because like you can't see this. You have to have very good glasses and you know not mm. all of us can see very well without glasses you know what i mean so we're going to be swatching on these famous hands yes that you guys love so much <laughs> or hate depending <laughs> on which way you look at it all right so so i'm going to use this one and i'm actually this is the only uh cream color the rest the rest of the colors are shimmers or sparkles so we already did base coat cured it for the recommended amount of time which mm -hmm. is five seconds or ten seconds whatever the first button and there are quite a few blues in the CD Sherlock line and you're supposed to use the very very thin two coats are going to cover much better let's just flash cure it a little tip and I know this is not what CMD does but this is what I do and it really works better for me uh this is how i wrap the free edges i'll show you quickly so i do the first coat on all the nails flash cure it and then apply very very thin there's barely any product and now i fully cure it at the end of the video we're going to show you show you similar colors okay this is a very good application very creamy very even Yeah, it's, this is really good. All the range. So some of these glitters, I just had a chance to just open them. They look a little chunky, so we'll see how they apply. I feel that C and D almost every summer collection includes like a purple, like a weird purple. What do you guys think? But I know a lot of people are excited for sparkles and so here we are all right so this probably could go on a little bit thinner again i just flash cured it and now i'm just going to add a little bit of the color on the end by the way flash curing means curing for a few seconds so the product hardens but it's not fully cured yet so flash cure is like a set into place kind of a mode okay i'm grabbing a small amount These products are supposed to be applied, especially the CMD shellac, very thin. Hmm. Very good application. What do you guys think about the color though? Outrageous. I'm actually excited about this one because we really don't have a coral with a sparkle this kind of reminds me of lobster roll like the base color mm -hmm. right lobster roll yeah by the way i absolutely love the brushes love 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 mm. Okay, flash cure. I also had people ask if I wrap the free edges with only one, the first coat. And yes, because this is enough for two coats on the edge now. Otherwise, it's going to be too thick. Fully cure. This is really nice. Really, really good. Good for summer. Mm-hmm. Fully cure. Now the sun dial it up. These are usually quite difficult to apply. This is like an orangey yellow. It looks a little bit more orangey in real life than it does on camera, but I'm not sure. Okay, so Dr. Donna was asking if this one oops, you moved, of course. I didn't move. Has a 
shimmer or something. So this one has like the green flash to it. Yes. So it was not really visible when I was um, just showing you guys the colors, but it's more visible now. So green flash means like a, a sheen, not really shimmer. It is a little patchy. If the nails are like perfect, uh, it might go on better, but I'm not surprised for the yellow to be a little patchy. It might need three coats. Clash out. You can barely see the name, no? This reminds me, it's a gorgeous finish um, of one of the old colors, the turquoise hot ski and something. I can never pronounce it. Yeah, Actually, no, OPI no. had a one color like that a long time ago. This is gorgeous. Wow. And it's fantastic formula. Absolutely effortless, thin coats, and off the wall. By the way, I gave these ones a very good shake to make sure that the uh, sparkles distribute evenly. So this is semi-sheer. You know, this has like that milky finish. There's a name to it, I just forgot right now, of course. Hmm. I think some people are going to love it. I actually like it more than I thought. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Second coat. Okay, this goes on very, very evenly. Like it's not streaky. It's quite easy. Hmm, interesting. These ones would be even nice for like a wedding, no? Okay, so this is how they look without a top coat. So as you can see, a little lumpy, this one and uh, this one, a little lumpy bumpy, not too bad. So I think I'm going to use, normally you probably, it would be a good idea to use the original top coat on top of it just to cover the, the lumpy bumpies. But for this one, I'm going to use the the no wipe top coat and I actually like using this top coat it's it's quite thin so it doesn't add thickness it goes on very well it has a good shine I do like it but it does not soak off very well that's the only thing I mean what I do is I just take a buffer and remove the just the shine with the buffer and I know she like doesn't teach that but um, without the buff it takes much longer to soak off so I'm using the express 5 because this is also what I like using especially for people that have um, stronger nails But I don't like using the Express 5 on light colors because it tends to discolor a little bit. So any light colors and the pinks, anything like that, I like using the original. So I'm not going to use a third coat on this because I'm not going to. Okay, here. Now I'm going to use the Express 5 well, on this one because he's not going to wear it. We're going to soak it up. But um, 
on the other hand, on the other nail, I'm going to use the Express 5. The, uh, sorry, the No Wipe. That way we can compare the, the shine because one of the viewers was saying that she has issues with the no wipe top coat that it's not shiny and it is shiny but the problem is she's curing it in a um, gelish lamp which can be a problem definitely a problem so i suggest curing in the cnd lamp that's the only lamp that i recommend with cnd and curing on a proper setting because you want to cure it on a setting number three all right okay so the no wipe top coat is not supposed to be wiped i find that very often when you just wipe the top coat and you put the oil the top coat goes a little um, uh, not shiny that's the word a little unshiny, a little dull. <laughs> and this one is quite shiny, I have to say, no? I don't see a difference, really. This one looks a little bit more shiny. And here's what I do. I'll give it another wipe. Okay, let's now compare very quickly these two other colors. I have to say, off camera, when I'm looking at this nail, it's really nice and bright. I mean, it's not neon, but it's like really, really nice. Okay, so let's compare the blues. It's, I have to say, quite different. It's much lighter than the blue eyeshadow. Remember, these colors always need to be mixed. So as you can see, quite different. Much lighter. Oh. And these two are excellent. I just did a video down by the bay. If you can't see this, the name, it's much lighter. And this is Chance Taker, much, much lighter. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to look at the Dream Catcher. Much different, obviously the Dream Catcher is a cream and violet rays that is very close a little darker though but darker yeah oops tango passion it's different now this one lobster roll uh lobster roll has changed over the years i remember when it first came out it was much more reddish so you see it has that this one is brighter though so lobster roll and now this is charm i also like the charm but charm is much more pastel much more chalky obviously they're both creams we don't have a lot of yellows so this would be the among the marigolds kind of similar a little bit lighter and it has that green flash to it okay so this one i thought it would look very christmasy but it doesn't actually hotski to chotski this what it reminds me it reminded me of this is more turquoise mm -hmm. and this has like the gold shimmer she's a gem i'm not sure if it's still available it was the from the winter collection a couple years ago i guess beautiful beautiful formula too this was such a gorgeous color mm -hmm. So this is almost like a grayish. It's not really, it has a hint of purple, almost. Grayish, milky kind of looking color. So this is, what is this? Uh, satin slippers. So let's just compare it. Satin slippers is a little bit more pinky, as you can see. But it's kind of similar, actually. Yeah. It's a warmer pink, obviously, without a sparkle. And this is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Let us know what you think about the collection. Let us know if you think it's bizarre. Different lighting that we have. Okay.
side. 